so right now the cravings are actually they're they're real i it's late and i try not to eat this late but it's 7 30 at night um what day is it it's the 18th of june and i left off the last vlog here but i got hungry i got super hungry at 7 30 at night and now i'm leaving kroger i was craving turkey burgers and usually i get my turkey burgers from trader joe's but i didn't go to trader joe's this last week my best friend picked them up for me i went to a party at his house last weekend and i left the two boxes that he got me there so he lives 15 minutes away and i don't know kroger is like five minutes away from my house i just didn't feel like driving on that side of town right now this late and i didn't want to bother him and his husband because they're probably about to lay it down watch movies whatever drink some wine do you know do what people do so i ran to kroger and i bought these i think they're butterball turkey burgers so i'll let you know how those are but i usually get the ones from trader joe's i just i don't know why i'm craving a turkey burger right now it's, i guess it's better than craving Wendy's or something or something else. I mean, so I got some red onion. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna put some red onion on it when I get home. I got these buns. I forgot what kind of buns they are. They're the Pepperidge Farm ones, but um, I think they have like poppy seed and onion in it. It's so. I'm telling you, that burger that I make in the air fryer is so good, and I'm about to go tear one up right now. Bye, Gigi. Bye, Mama. It's actually really nice out today. Um, he took Gigi around the corner for a bike ride, so I'll let you guys see when she comes back, but it is really nice. It's 88 out here today, so yeah, we're j I'm just sitting here waiting for them to return from their bike ride. Not burning up, not dying today off tomorrow juneteenth holiday whoop, whoop. thank god i'm off i hope you're off too but yeah gg is we take her for a bike ride when the weather's cool because when it's too hot obviously we don't want nobody to melt away look at you look at you she won't let you get it go mama go go get it go get it go get it go get it so I also wanted to share with you guys, you probably, this is probably not anything new for pet owners, but um, Gigi's wipes, I get these from Marshalls. You can't beat these. It's 120 for $3.99. I usually just stock up because anytime she comes from outside, we wipe her down. We wipe her booty, her tushy, her you know what, her, all her privates, her face, and we wipe her, um, her paws and her belly and stuff because she is allowed to go on furniture. So these are really inexpensive check marshals if you have, like don't get them from PetSmart or somewhere else i've seen these from like 7.99 all the way to like 12.99 and they have them for 3.99 at your local marshals so i wanted to throw in these um candles that i got from trader joe's probably about two weeks ago i brought three boxes of them so the first one is strawberry basil i think these are this is like a seasonal package watermelon mint and pineapple cilantro right now i am burning the strawberry basil and it smells really good um out of the three so far i think i like this one the best so if you have trader joe's near you hit up your trader joe's it's a three pack i usually store them down here i got so i used one box i have some other candles down here too but yep definitely try them out strawberry basil is my favorite one out of these i also wanted to share with you guys these per turkey burgers so normally i get the ones from trader joe's and i didn't feel like driving trader joe's yesterday and i was craving a turkey burger right i was craving turkey burger i had to have a turkey burger but trader joe's probably like 20 20 minutes from my house 25 minutes and kroger's like literally five minutes up the road home and close the freezer i'm just going to show you guys so I think Trader Joe's turkey burgers are like 150 calories and they're thinner and you have to season them. I just put salt and pepper on them. But the alternative are these. And these are 270 um, calories. But I'm telling you, they, I put them in the air fryer. This thing was so thick and juicy. I might make one and do a video and show you how I make it in the air fryer. It's really easy. I just put some red onion on there. I use these buns. These poppy seed and pepperidge from buns. Onion with poppy seeds. These are the ones, but a bomb bomb turkey burger was needed. 
Hey guys, so I decided, you guys are really shaky right now, but it is what it is. This is the thing that I have in the car and it is, it's shaking. But I am headed to Target. I want to see if they had these matching sets. You know, like the short sets that a lot of people have been wearing lately. I was watching this girl in here that I actually started watching, I don't know, maybe a month ago. I really like her and her, I like her style. I like how calm she is. I think her name is I am Shakira, Sh Shakira B. And she got this really cute set from Target and I'm gonna run to see if my Target actually has it. So I thought I'd bring you guys along as shaky as it is. I'm sorry, but it, this thing won't stop shaking. So what do we think about Drake's new album? I mentioned it on my IG stories and I don't know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even gonna say that I'm conflicted. I, I don't really care for it because I'm not really, and some people could say it's house music. It's not house music. I think it's house music. I'm not really big into house music. I like the very last song with 21 Savage, but like like I was telling people before, like it's okay. I mean, I like all his other albums. I still like really like him as an, an artist. I just wasn't expecting this on the album and I'm not gonna force myself to like it. So that's that. But if you do, I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying it. I've, Chloe Bailey came out with that new song, Surprise, and I love that song. I just, I love her voice. I'm here for, I know everyone's saying that she's doing too much, but I'm sorry, I'm here for Chloe Bailey. Do your thing, girl, because if it was somebody that looked different, didn't have locks, didn't have whatever, people would be, if it was a sweetie or somebody else that is not as talented, in my opinion, as Chloe Bailey, sitting up here swinging and dancing and patting, you know, they, everybody would be clapping and cheering, but let Chloe live, let her do her thing. I think that she's doing a really great job. And I, you know, I, I like her. I'm, I'm here for all of her shenanigans. I'm here for it. So hope I'm not making you guys car sick with all this shaking, but it is what it is. Let's see what else is going on. So I want to run the Target. I need to go to Costco and get some, a case of water and I should meal prep a little bit. I don't do full meal preps anymore during the week. I just, I, the reason why is because I get tired of the food. So if I meal prep, it'll be something for like a Monday and Tuesday. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, I'm eating something else. And then Friday, I'll eat something else. And these are mostly not meal prep for dinner, but for lunch at work, because it keeps me honest and it keeps me not wanting to buy fast food. And the calories in fast food add up really quickly. Um, I don't buy Starbucks shakes or anything like that anymore because I mean when those things are like a thousand calories depending on which one you get obviously but I like the sweet ones so I know that I have to limit myself from buying Starbucks drinks. I'd rather just make them at home so I know what I'm putting into the drink. What else has been going on? Um, I'm off today for, for Juneteenth even though it's the 20th and that's why I'm running errands. I'm going to stop by my bestie's house and pick up these turkey burgers that he got for me about a week and a half ago from Trader Joe's. But I forgot, I was at his house and I forgot to pick them up and they have less calories than the Kroger turkey burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up because when I get off work, I don't even eat them with fries anymore. Like now, ever since I got the Peloton, like um, I know you have to eat for fuel, but my appetite has really decreased. So I have to force myself to eat. So I'll probably, days where I don't feel like cooking or having, um, him throw something on for me I will just end up coming home making a turkey burger um, having a few I want to say they have cotton candy grapes too to be honest having some grapes having another protein shake and call it a day I don't really I don't know my appetite's really been um, decreasing I and but I've been enjoying and getting better on my run so if you haven't joined the Peloton family and you're considering it I definitely suggest that you, you look into it. Do a lot of research on YouTube. YouTube has so many videos on Peloton, just in case you're on the fence. And if you are, if you do decide to join, join the Peloton family and get on the leaderboard, my name is West Coast Stacy, Stacy without an E, um, ending with a Y on the leaderboard. So feel free to add me, no big deal. Um, we can be friends on, on Peloton too. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting into today. So once I get in the Target and see if they have these sets, I'll let you guys know. I think she had an orange one. I don't think orange is really my color, even though I just bought an orange set from Shein two weeks ago. And I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna make it work, but um, I just bought an orange set from, from Shein. So 
Uh, I don't think I'll get the orange or salmon color, salmon color one that she, that she got, but um, there was a cream off whitish one, and I think I want to see if they have that or have any other colors that I want a blue too. I've been liking blue a lot lately too, so see if they have something in blue. If not, we'll just keep it moving. And I do need some Airwick, Airwick air plugs for the house. I burn candles, but I like those too. So I'm gonna see if Target has that also. But yeah, I'm enjoying my day off. That's pretty much what I have planned. We'll see what we find in Target. We'll see what we find in Costco, um, other than the water, if that's all I get. Oh, something else I wanted to talk about. What do you guys think about this recession that we're going into? I do, definitely do feel like a shift in a lot of different things. Um, the way people are shopping lately, People are still getting outside. I mean, this is like the first real summer that everything's open after COVID. So people are still taking trips, going to concerts, getting up, getting outside, doing all that stuff. But um, the gas prices, you know, a lot are affecting a lot of people. I don't go that many places. So I don't want to say I'm not affected, but I really don't notice the gas prices. I, I don't even, no, what was that? I don't even really look. Um, I don't even look really at the gas prices at, at all. Like I, I don't look at them just because of the fact that I don't go that many places. I'm going to work at home and I usually, it takes me every two weeks to fill up anyway. So I don't know, it's not really bothering me. I just had a, like a panic attack, a, just not a pan, real panic attack, but the freaking loss of tire pressure in my right tire just came on. Of course, well, this is my freaking luck. I'm headed to Target and it comes on, Every, that always happens when I'm in the car by myself. It never happens any other time. Well, I'm mostly, mostly by myself, but I'm like, my husband drives the car, this, my, this car, my car sometimes, and nothing ever happens to him. But whenever I get in this car and just want to go do something, some light comes on. I mean, it's never anything major, but I'm like, damn, damn. So now I'm not gonna really even be able to enjoy, enjoy Target because I'm closer to Target than I am my house. So I'm not turning around. I'm going, running my butt up in Target. I'm about to look at this tire when I get out and see if it's low or not. And then try to push it and go to Costco and maybe make it to my friend's house and then head back and tell him, hey, I need you to do something with these tires because no, 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 no. I hate when that happens. I don't like anything going crazy with car stuff. I don't know nothing about cars. I know how to pump gas and drive and that's about it. I do not know how to change a tire, never learned, probably should have don't know how to do any of it. I'd rather just call the insurance to have them send a freaking um, truck, tow truck and freaking change a tire for me. But damn, I'm not even gonna be able to enjoy myself in Target because of this stupid, stupid light. I'm super irritated right now, but I'm still going to Target. I figured while I'm in this neck of the woods, I might as well just go and fill up gas. I have a 255 miles until I need to fill up, but since I am since I am going to Costco, I might as well get this get this done. And of course there's a long ass line as usual and nobody knows what line to go in. It's it's I don't understand this. I, I don't understand. Like every time you get to Costco, it's like nobody knows what line to go in. There's room and this these are the type of pumps where you can stretch the freaking pump around so i don't know let's see what you're gonna do this one's going the wrong damn way this person's not even moving let's go i don't even know why this person is somebody's not going the right way i don't know what oh he's pointing oh she's going on she was cussing somebody out i don't know but let's see how this moves let me go get this gas at costco hopefully this isn't too okay they're starting to learn they're trying to get smart you don't all have to do follow my follow the leader and stay one behind the other. This lane all the way, you guys see to the far left. Thank you, there goes the white truck. They're starting to learn, they're getting a little bit smarter. So annoying. So I'm still sitting here, sometimes I don't understand like what people are thinking. Like, it's okay to move. Like you see way over there where that white truck is or silver truck. Why won't the truck that's stopping everybody behind him move to one of those other lanes so people could get around it's like it's it's common courtesy and common sense which people completely lack this these days i don't i don't understand so he's gonna block one two three four five and there's six seven eight and the cars behind me 
There's, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it. So that was a bust at Target. I didn't find the sets that she had, but I did find a cute pair of little cotton pants and a cotton t-shirt for the summer that you can wear for, you know, I don't know, dinner or brunch, whatever. Even though I don't go out that much, I need to expand my wardrobe a little bit. I mean, during COVID, all I did was wear loungewear, which I'm sure most of you guys did too. So um, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes though. That's one thing I, I don't do. I just, I just don't believe in spending a lot of money on clothes. I rather spend it on my accessories, which I'm, shoot, I can't even go this way. No right turn, great. Um, okay, so yeah, I don't like spending that much money on clothes. I rather spend it on accessories. And lately, like, I'm just in the use what I have type mode. All I really want is good food in my home, some AC, and just being able to, to relax. I don't think that that's too much to ask for. So that's where I'm at with life right now. Let's see if I can make it around this term right here, please. Yes. So that's pretty much where I am with life right now. I don't really want to go bag shopping or anything. I mean, I don't go too many places to even use the bag. So I've been selling a lot on Poshmark. I actually reopened my Poshmark account. When was it? Like a week, a week and a half ago. I won't say selling a lot. I put a few things on Poshmark. And like four days after I put it on there, someone bought my Coach Cassie in black. I have the um, colored chalk in there. And it's not because the Coach Cassie isn't a great bag. I just, I, I don't know. I just haven't been, I have not been using them. I have not used them. I grab the same freaking bag every time. So I've been using my Balenciaga bag and then this bag right here, this uh, this bum bag. That's, that's pretty much it. So if it's sitting, it's gotta go. The only thing I think I would never sell is the Chanel Jumbo. That was a big gift from my husband. And I don't know, I'm holding on to that. <laughs> because if like that ends up being like worth 20K down the line, then I might give it up then. Because the way these prices are going, it's crazy. But uh, definitely holding on to the Chanel Jumbo. So yeah, Target was kind of a bust. And I didn't get my Airwick, um, my Airwick smell good. So I just might just order them on Amazon. I saw them in Costco, but Costco only has that lavender flavor, which or scent, which I don't like. And then some other scent in the combo. And I don't like that one either. So I never get it from Costco, even though it's probably the, the better deal. But yeah, I'll just get them on Amazon. I've gotten them on Amazon. They have this peach one, white peach that I really, really like. So I'll just wait. Amazon's where I'll get them. And now I'm gonna get home, unpack all this stuff from Costco and have my husband check my tire. I'm probably going to do my Trader Joe run on Wednesday, I have a hair appointment. So Wednesday is when I'll roll to Trader Joe's because it's on that side of town. So I'm not even, I'm not far from Trader Joe's. Before when I was in Fresno, well in Hanford, California, I used to have to go to Fresno to go to Trader Joe's. So I'd go like once every two months because it was 45 minutes away, 40 minutes away. When I lived in Washington State, it was literally down the street from my house. And now it's like 20, 25 minutes, which still isn't too bad, but it's probably safer that way. Cause if not, I'd probably be there like every other day. So we're about to go get this hair done. I have not had a silk press in I don't know how long. I usually just wash and blow dry my hair myself. Um, you see this pimple just popped up on me. I got a little friend going in with me. But yeah, we are here at the salon. I will check back in with you guys as soon as I'm done in a few hours, but it's crazy. I have not been to the salon in forever. Oh, I feel super greasy. I didn't even take my purse off my shoulder I just got back from Trader Joe's they actually had the horchata ice cream horchata ice cream so yeah I got it I got one for Adrian I got one for myself I'm real my hair needed this whatever she put in my hair I'm telling you guys my hair needed whatever moisture nutrients whatever I, I did trim a lot off of it there's a little bit of length on it but not too much she 
he got the chopping but it was time it was well needed let me turn on this radio so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and end my vlog right here i hope you guys are having a good week i probably will do another one next week i don't know what i have coming up but whatever i have coming up i'll let you guys know and i did my gucci exchange so the shoes that i showed you guys earlier or last vlog whenever i whenever i did it the shoes that i showed you guys earlier they sent them out today and they'll be here on friday so and i got them in the 39 vice the 40 because it was it's a gucci clog or whatever whatever you want to call it so people call it gucci croc oh gosh you guys are tilted gucci croc gucci clog but i got another one in the 39 so we'll see how you guys are shaking all over the place we'll see how that works out for me on friday i'll probably do a video on that and yeah, well, let's go ahead and close it out here and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.